Hello, I'm Eric Cheever, Collections Curator of the Stearns History Museum, and welcome back to the Victory Kitchen, which today is out here. During World War II, the American military went to great lengths to keep the troops fed. Behind the lines, meals were prepared in mess kitchens, where the quality of the food could be either fantastic or merely adequate, depending on the creativity and bartering, bartering prowess of the mess surgeon. Up front, and especially to those in combat, meals could be incredibly monotonous. You could go for weeks on end eating nothing but sea rats or K rats, which were prepackaged, canned, and boxed foods, which would keep a man fed, but never full. So up front, guys would take any opportunity they could to go out and forage for food, try to get something fresh to supplement their canned diets. One of the most coveted items were fresh eggs. There were some farms around. Sometimes you could find a, a lost chicken, but the most, the most uh, readily available way of getting eggs would be trading cigarettes for them. So eggs were, eggs were coveted. And if you were able, lucky enough to get some eggs, you would try to supplement that or stretch it out and make a meal out of it. You know, turn it, turn it into something kind of special. So today, we have been able to come up with a couple, two eggs, two farm eggs, a small loaf of fresh bread, and some bacon fat. And with these few art, um, bits of food, we're going to try to make a passable and hopefully tasty breakfast. So today we're going to be making a recipe uh, that it just calls for two eggs, and basically we're making um, fake fried eggs, which is kind of an odd thing to call it because we're using real eggs. But this is a British recipe that uh, was popular during the war to, to make the eggs go a little further. This, uh, the British gave it to the Americans, and uh, the Americans ran with it as well. So we're going to be cooking on this vehicle stove. It's a two burner, um, and we'll get going here in just a second as soon as I get it lit. First thing, two eggs. We're going to crack two eggs to a bowl. Mix them up well. Set that aside. Then we've got our, our bread. We cut two slices of bread and make a hole in the center of the bread. Just like that. Next comes the best ingredient, the bacon grease. Smear a bunch of bacon grease on there. Mmm, smells good. So then you take your toast, your bread, you soak one side of it in water, pop it on your griddle, Fry it for a minute or two. Pour some of the mixture in there. Alrighty, well, okay, I'll admit this is not actually fine cuisine, but it doesn't look horrible. And look, I, got a, I have a whole meal. And if you can liberate a Coke someplace off of a quartermaster guy someplace or something like that, 
You have a meal fit for a king. Better than powdered eggs.